Ever heard of the only Caribbean island that European colonizers never fully conquered? Welcome to the compelling history of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The early history of this island is marked by the Caribs, the original inhabitants who fiercely resisted European colonization. The Treaty of 1675 stands as a historical testament, recognizing Carib sovereignty over the island. The Caribs of St. Vincent, known as the Garifuna, held their ground against European forces, a unique feat in Caribbean history. The 18th century brought new challenges and changes to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. As African slaves were brought to the island, they intermingled with the indigenous Carib people, giving rise to a unique community known as the Black Caribs or Garifuna. This period saw the island embroiled in the Carib Wars, a fierce resistance against British rule. Despite their valiant fight, the island fell to the British in 1796, leading to the deportation of the Garifuna to Central America. Yet, the island's narrative didn't end there. It entered a new chapter with the advent of the sugar plantations, a significant period in its colonial history. This era, however, was short-lived, as the abolition of slavery in 1834 marked a triumph against adversity. Though faced with adversity, the spirit of resistance and resilience shaped the history of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The 20th century marked a turning point for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. As the British colonial rule persisted, a seed of desire for self-governance was firmly planted in the 1960s. This spark ignited a movement that would forever change the course of Vincentian history. Leading this charge was none other than Robert Milton Cato, a man of vision and tenacity. As the first prime minister, Cato played a pivotal role in steering the country towards the beacon of independence. It was on October 27, 1979, that St. Vincent and the Grenadines finally shook off the shackles of colonial rule and emerged as a sovereign nation. From an island of resistance to a sovereign nation, the history of St. Vincent and the Grenadines is a testament to the enduring spirit of its people.